I don't get drunk often, but I did last night. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, I am the director of the environmental nonprofit Cork Forest Conservation Alliance, and I'm here to talk to you about the three closures, three myths in 300 seconds, if I can do it. Um, the three biggest myths, I think, with closures is that the cork trees are cut down, there is a cork shortage, and TCA taint from, uh, a taint from uh, natural cork is between 5 and 10%. We put 3A in there, which is cork is the sole culprit of tainted wines, which is actually not true. Cork uh, is harvested by hand with no mechanical tools uh, in 7 million acres across the Mediterranean basin. Um, there are, it is one of the most uh, beautiful and uh, environmental harvesting processes in the world. Um, there's about 24,000 corks that come off of a tree that you can get out of the tree. And in the cork industry, there is 0% waste. Every part of the cork bark is used uh, in making, whether it be composite corks or in, uh, industrial or commercial products. Um, and then the last thing, I don't know if you know Christian Butsky, but he is an associate professor of enology at Purdue. He is also a former president of the Wine Association of California. And in a test of 33,000 wines, he found less than 2% uh, TCA tank from natural cork. So we look at the most sustainable and environmental forestry practice on the planet. All of the wood leaves the forest, but all of the trees stay alive because you never cut a tree down. And a cork tree that's harvested of its bark will actually absorb 10 tons more CO2 than one that's not. When we talk about screw caps, there's a lot of misconceptions. Aluminum screw caps are made from bauxite, which is one of the most devastating uh, mining practices left on the planet. People who live within a 50 mile radius of a bauxite mine can't drink their own water. This the picture here is, uh, you may remember, about eight months ago in Hungary, uh, thousands of people were evacuated because a dam, which was filled with this toxic red sludge, broke, uh, killing hundreds of people. And that toxic red sludge is what's left over when you take bauxite and turn it into aluminum. We also have to understand that things, because things can be recycled, they're not necessarily being recycled. You can throw your screw caps in your recycling bin if you have one all day long, but they are not recycled in the United States because they fall through uh, the system as um, particulate matter. As far as the plastic closures go, not sustainable, not renewable, made from petrochemicals. Only a small percentage are even recycled in the United States. And studies have shown both in screw caps and in plastic closures the leaching of endocrine disruptors into your wine. Endocrine disruptors are the leading causes of breast and colon cancer in the West. There are five islands in the oceans of, of the world, the largest being the North Pacific Geyer garbage dump. It's twice the size of Texas, it's 300 feet deep, and it's filled with plastic, nothing else. And then, if, we, if that weren't enough, every major survey conducted by winery publications has said that the American public does not like the plastic closure that it's the least favorite of all the closures. Here's some facts we hope you know. There are over 800 chemical compounds that can affect the flavor, the flavor profile of a wine. So don't, please don't blame everything on TCA. The cork industry in the last seven years has spent tens of millions of dollars to improve the quality control, the forestry, every aspect. The corks that are being made right now are the best corks produced in the history of wine. Um, and these, these factories are absolutely amazing and they employ hundreds of thousands of people. So this is not only an environmental, but it's an economic issue. We have a new program which is called Real Cork Inside. We're asking wineries to put this small acorn logo because the cork tree uh, is, a, is an oak on the back label of their bottle to let people know that there's real cork inside. As a consumer, if you want to make a sustainable choice, you can choose not to buy a screw cap because you can see it, but because of the closure, the capsule, you can't see if it's plastic or cork. And in closing, you have the power. People listen to you. You can help dispel these myths. How many people I've heard say, I buy screw cap wines because I think I'm saving the cork for us. And then, <laughs> it's amazing. And I hear they cut the trees down. And then, I guess I'm done. <laughs>